Morgan. Monday. It's Monday here. It is Monday for us. We don't know what day it is for you yet because right. we haven't planned where we're going to put this video, but whatever but it day is it is. Red Ribbon Week. It is, and we are super powered singers. Yes. That's right. And because we are super powered singers, we're going to teach you a song called Obwi Sana. <gasps> what language is that? Well, I want to sing it first and okay. then see if they can guess where okay. this could be coming from. Mm. Okay, good idea. Sit up tall, keep a steady beat for us. Ready, here we go. Oh, we sana, sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. Oh, we sana, sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. Sing it again. Oh, we sana, sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. Oh, we sana, sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. You have such pretty vowels. Oh, thank you. Western ears want to sing really pretty vowels. In this language, though, that comes from another continent, it, they have a different way of shaping their vowels, and they'll sing more like, oh, we sana, sana, na, and it's really forward. Oh, we sana, sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. Now, that might be a foreign sound to us, but remember, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And when you are raised with a specific kind of singing, that's what your ear is gonna to go to. So it might be different, it's not bad. It's just different, different for our ears. Can you guess what continent it comes from? Yes. How about you? Can you tell? Maybe not so much by the melody, but by but the, the words. the vowel and the, the, words. And the words, yes. Yeah. It is from the continent of Africa. And so if I had a map behind me, I'd be able to show you what Africa looks like, which you already know. However, it is from a very small country called Ghana. Ooh, Ghana. Mm -hmm. Say Ghana. 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 Very good. So, uh, and this is a song that has a game with it, and it's used with stones a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. Because this, this song translated means that the rock has crushed my hand, Ooh. grandma. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. they're playing a game with their grandmother and they're talking about how this rock has crushed their hand. And so there's the passing game that we'll tell you about in a second. But for now, will you sing after me, please? Yes. Okay. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana sa. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana sa. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana sa. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana sa. Good. Now then, in my mind, I hear two different phrases. Yes, me too. And they're almost identical. I know, and I was wondering if you could think about what the difference is. Let's sing it once again together, because it's not a hard song mm -hmm. to learn. And think about what you hear that's different at the end of each phrase, okay? Ready, here we go. Oh, we sana, sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. Oh, we sana, sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. One goes tell. up and the other goes down. Sana, na, oh, we sana, sa. The last part goes, Oh, we sana sa. And so it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Now then, I would like for us to scoot back just a little bit. And I'm going to teach you, use your right hand, okay? We're going to be using our left, we're your mirror. And now what I want you to do is I want you to tap in front of you. If you're sitting at a table, tap at the table and then tap to your right. We're going to just keep a steady beat. Ready, here we go. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana sa. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana Sing it again. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana sa. Oh, we sana sana na, oh, we sana sa. Now, if you were in the room with us, we would be giving you a stick instead of a stone, because we don't want anybody crushing your hands on no. a stone, but a stick. And we would have you tap it on the ground and then pass it to the person on your right. 
So you can practice that and sing that song. This time, pretend that you've got a stick in your hand. Ready, here we go. Oh, we saw na sa na na. Oh, we saw na sa. Oh, we saw na sa na na. Oh, we saw na sa. Oh, we saw na sa na na. Oh, we saw na sa. Oh, we saw na sa na na. Oh, we saw na sa. And then after we know this one for a while, you know what you get to do? You get two sticks. <gasps> And what you do is you pick them up and you tap and then you pass. So you go, oh, we saw na sa na na, oh, we saw na sa, oh, we saw na sa na na, oh, we saw na sa, join me. Oh, we saw na sa na na, oh, we saw na sa. Oh, we saw na sa na na, oh, we saw na sa. I never played it that way. That's cool. It is fun because that's why it's I had to three. concentrate. It's three against four. We're singing a song that's in four four, but we're actually doing a passing part that is like a three four. So we do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Which is kind of cool. It is cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. So that's Obuisana. I'd love for you to go find Ghana on a map. And I want you to Google what the two main languages are in Ghana. And I want you to leave that in the comment section below. Okay? Two languages, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, there's one that's based right off of their name mm -hmm. of their country. But then there's another one that they they really use. It's a very, very popular um, language for the entire continent. Yeah. Or the majority of the continent. I All right. Say. All right. Cool. <laughs> Have a great day.